repeat visit to the hub. And first order of business is to talk business. Your nationwide yep. series team, Kyle Busch Motorsports, had a big announcement. Tell us about that and, and some of the parameters of the deal. Uh, it was really great, you know, um, talking with the, the Monster folks all the way back from last February, actually, and uh, trying to put something together with those guys. And uh, my buddy Rick Huseman, who raced in the off-road series, uh, set me up with those guys and got me talking with them. And, um, you know, it's been a, a fun ride and getting the discussions all done and turning it into a multi-year deal. You know, it's pretty exciting for Kyle Busch Motorsports to venture off in a nationwide series now. And uh, that's where I've wanted to go and grow the company and to be able to grow the organization a little bit. And we've been successful with the trucks and now hopefully we can move into nationwide and be successful there yeah. too. So okay. we made up a list of all the drivers that we thought could do a, a decent job at it and we sent it to Monster and we were like, give us your A, B, and C pick. And so, um, you know, then after, that was probably, I don't know, October, November sometime. And then later in December, it changed. And we were like, okay, well, there's another option for you. What do you think? And they're like, yeah, that's awesome. Let's do it. And that was Kurt. So uh, the opportunity arose, and uh, we went full bore with it. And Kurt's been all about it. And he wants to help see Kyle Busch Motorsports grow, too, and be successful. And I think that's the key to him and I being able to get out there on the racetrack together and split this ride. What are the numbers? Do you know how many races you're going to run now versus Kurt? I'm about 15, and then Kurt's going to be whatever's left. I think it's 18. Did, did Kurt have any reservations about uh, getting in the family business, so to speak? <laughs> uh, not really, actually. Um, you know, he was pretty open to the idea the whole time. Um, you know, I asked him about it. You know, he asked me about it. What are we going to do here, there, and what races am I going to run? Who's going to travel to the different ones? Those were his most reservations about it. And um, so we kind of worked through some of that. We still haven't decided on a couple uh, of those fly to races. Yes. But, um, you know, we'll figure out who comes ahead on that one. Maybe if I'm winning, I'll, I'll go. Or if he's winning, maybe he'll go. Whoever's most competitive. <laughs> point. You know, for us, it's just uh, it's about going out there. Uh, for me, it's having fun. I love being able to get in a race car. I love being able to drive uh, anything I can get my hands on. So uh, this year, you know, we're kind of taking a little bit of a step back. You know, gradually I've tried to do that a little bit. And I've wanted Kyle Busch Motorsports to be sustainable without Kyle Busch having to be behind the wheel. So uh, in turn, Jason Leffler gets to run the truck more. And, um, you know, we might bring in some other guys to fill out the other races, depending on sponsorship. But, um, you know, the Nationwide Series stuff, it's something that I know... Uh, I need to do and to get out there and make sure our stuff's competitive right off the bat and to have two championship type drivers in the in the Bush Brothers do it in the first year I think says a lot about uh, the belief that Monster has in us and um, you know the the great people that we've been able to hire on at Kyle Busch Motorsports. I took a closer look at your finishes you know from Daytona all the way to Homestead. Yeah. What was interesting or I, I don't know if it's weird but like you would have four or five races in a row where you'd be first, fourth, second, eighth, and then 36th. And it was like every fifth race, you guys had a, a finish worse than 30th. Was it just mechanical failures? What, why do you think that was? I don't know. Did that say running or? Uh, no, I didn't, or I didn't look like at that. DNF. You know, I didn't look at that. <laughs> I have no idea. I've never uh, studied that or anything like that. So it's interesting you, you say that. But, you know, certainly uh, through the first 26 races, you know, we ran really competitive. We were fast, we were strong and um, won four races or something like that. And then we get to the final 10 and it's like you want to hit a reset button and just kind of know that you've got to run really well. You've got to finish in the top 10 every single race. And for some reason, it just it, it screws us up. You know, we get into the final 10 races and it messes, up, messes us up. But um, as soon as I figure it out, and can run the final 10 really good, I'll let you know. Ooh, the rest of the competition doesn't want to see that. <laughs> For us, it's, it's definitely a lot better to not have to chase after, well, we want so many wins, you know, or we want so many top fives or top tens. You know, so when you get down towards the end of the year, you're like, well, man, we're, we're this short on these amount of goals, or, well, we've overexceeded in these areas. You know, you just forget all that. You know, race your potential, do what you can.